everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I have been trying out some weird and different baby hacks that I have found on Pinterest and I'm going to share with you today whether they work or whether they don't work. If you know my channel you'll know that I love making hacks videos, I will link all my previous ones down below. And when I was looking on Pinterest recently I found a few that I was like I have never tried that and I wonder if that would even work with a baby or a child. So I have about five or six I wanted to share with you today, so here we go. Right, so the first weird baby hack involves a glove that is heavy and the idea of having this glove is that you put your baby to sleep with it, pat them a few times with it and your hand and then you can leave this weighted glove on your baby's back or stomach or wherever and they fall asleep thinking that you are still touching them. So all you have to do to make this glove is get a random spare glove, <laughs> fill it up with something heavy, you can use dry pulses, I actually ended up using risotto for mine, but I did also think about maybe using quinoa, but you just fill it up and wiggle all of the seeds or risotto down into the fingers, make it until it's quite heavy and then I used a glue gun to seal it shut and I used quite a lot to make sure that it was really really sealed. Yeah, so I tried this out on my son and I patted him with it and he did fall asleep with it on him and he slept for quite a while but he is quite a good sleeper as it is, he's four months old. So in theory this hack does work if your baby wants to fall asleep being held or touched but I actually think this is quite a dangerous hack. If you used it past the age of like 12 weeks, then what is to stop your baby from grabbing it or biting it and maybe getting into the contents and choking? Like it's actually quite a dangerous thing. I also think it's a bit silly because you're effectively giving your baby a sleepy association with a fake hand. I felt really silly using it as well. My husband was like, it's like cousin it. Do you remember from the Adams family? Um, but patting your baby with this and then leaving it on them, uh, they might get used to having that. And when they're older and they start rolling around, you might have to get up in the night just to replace the fake hand on their back or on their stomach or something like that, almost like you would a dummy. So I just think it's really, really silly. So yes, it works, but no, I would never use this. So the second weird hack is another one to do with sleep and this one involves using a tissue to stroke your baby's face to sleep. The idea is that you, if you stroke your baby's face with a tissue for up to 40 seconds, they will fall asleep. So I tried this on our baby Jackson when he was due a nap and he was very tired. So we laid him on his back and I started to stroke his face for the 40 seconds. It did make his eyes close. He did make them close for longer but it just annoyed him. He was just really frustrated and at one point he even grabbed it. So this really did not work for Jackson and he was very tired when I tried it so I was hopeful that it would work. So by all means try this on your baby and see if it works but it really didn't work for Jackson and again I think it's a bit silly to train them to sleep in this way. I think it's much easier to just help them learn how to fall asleep on their own. Thing that I came across on Pinterest that I thought I really wanted to try was a hack that said that if you cut your baby's nails once they've been asleep for 20 minutes, that is when they are deepest asleep and they won't wake up. So my son Caleb, he's three and he hates having his nails cut. He's afraid of it, he thinks it's gonna hurt and he just won't let me get near him. So I was like, perfect, I'm gonna try this on him. So my husband and I snuck into his room with a torch on our phone and my nail clippers and he didn't wake up. We cut all of his fingers and all of his toes 20 minutes after he'd fallen asleep and he's actually quite a light sleeper. So this hack for me really did work and I would completely recommend it. So that one gets a big thumbs up from me hack was that you can apply barrier cream or diaper cream to your baby's bottom using a makeup brush or you can even get these special nappy cream applicators. So, so as you can see, yes you can apply the cream really easily using either of these things but I really didn't like using them. I think it's much safer to use your own fingers on your baby, to use a piece of apparatus on somewhere that is so gentle and so tender seems crazy to me. I also then, after using it, had to then clean it with a wipe because if you left it, then bacteria would collect and you're not going to wash and sterilize the makeup brush 
after every nappy change. So I just thought that this one actually did not work for me at all. I would much rather just use my hands on my baby and then wash my hands with an antibacterial soap. So that one gets a big thumbs down from me. The next hack is a way of making your baby's room really, really dark just by using tin foil. So you can literally open up the window and scrunch the tin foil around the window itself without sellotape or anything, and that can make the room dark. You can also use sellotape or blue tack to stick it to the windows, and I tried this out in my son's room, and it really, really worked. I was surprised at how little sunlight actually got through the tin foil, so this one really did work and gets a big thumbs up from me. I must say though, this is one that I would use on holiday, sooner than I would use at home. You can easily pack a roll of tin foil and some sellotape and then you can make a hotel room darker if you have a baby that really needs to sleep in pitch dark, like my baby does. But for a longer term solution, I think getting a blackout blind or a product called Magic Blackout will work longer than tin foil would because tin foil could tear and then light could obviously come through the tears. But overall, it was a really great discovery. The last hack is a way of not losing baby socks. So all you do is order a mesh bag like this. I actually ordered five on Amazon and they were really, really cheap. And the idea is that you get this mesh bag and you put all the baby socks in it. And then when you wash your laundry, you just wash it all in this bag and even dry it all in this bag and it comes out clean and you have not lost any of the tiny baby socks in sheets or randomly anywhere. This hack really, really worked. The socks got clean and dried and they didn't get lost anywhere. It's simple to hang this over your laundry basket. Thinking that this is something that you could do for the whole family. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed trying out these hacks with me. There were some that worked, there were some that really didn't, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do more videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up because there were loads of weird hacks on Pinterest and I had so much fun making this video. Um, yeah, thanks a lot and I'll see you very soon. Bye!